it's Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to talk about CRNA versus DNA. There's some confusion between a CRNA, the master's level, and the doctorate level. And there are some changes that are going to take place in the future and how you can become a CRNA. So in this video, I'm going to talk about what a CRNA is, talk about those changes, the different doctorate degrees you can get, and talk about what you can do with those doctorate degrees. And is there really, what's the difference between a CRNA with a master's degree and with a doctorate degree? So first let's talk about a CRNA. What do they do? These are advanced practice nurses, so registered nurses who have went on for graduate level education through a master's program. And I say master's um, with an asterisk beside of it because that's going to be changing in the future. And what they do is they go through that training, usually takes about 24 to 36 months, and then they pass their state boards and their job is to minister anesthesia. So now, right now, if you go become a CRNA, you can go through that program, get a master's and do that. But by 2022, there will be no programs that offer a master's degree to become a CRNA. The requirements by 2025 is that if you are not a practicing or if you're not already a CRNA, in order to become one, you're going to have to have a doctorate degree. So what does that mean? Is there going to be a difference, like since you have a doctorate degree? Usually, if you, whenever you obtain your doctorate degree or plan to do that and you work as a CRNA, there won't be a significant difference in pay, duties, or job opportunities. The main advantage is that you're going to be able to teach if you want to become a professor at the college level because what's happening is that by 2025 this just not only applies for CRNAs it applies for all advanced practice nurses which include nurse practitioners so if you're going to go you want to become a nurse practitioner you're going to have to get a doctorate degree and um, nurse midwives clinical nurse specialists everything like that all advanced degrees are no longer going to be masters they're going to be doctorate degrees so Let's talk about the two different types of doctorate degrees you can get to become a CRNA. There are two types. There's called the DNAP and the DNP. They are essentially the same thing. Um, they're both advanced practice degrees and they're different from the research degrees because you have research degrees and practice degrees. Your research degrees is where you concentrate on research, the theory behind that and everything like that. Practice is where you go out and you work and you're practicing that trade, that specialty. And your research degrees are the degree types known as the DNS, the Doctor of Nursing of Science, and the PhD degree. This is different. These aren't that. So your DNAP the difference between the two, like I said, they're essentially the same. They lead to you becoming a CRNA. It's just really your personal preference of which one you want to do. The DNAP is usually offered outside of nursing programs. It's not usually offered through a nursing school, and they're accredited by the Nurse Anesthetist Council of Accreditation. Now, the DNP is offered by nursing schools and nursing programs. So you'll find a wide variety of those. And these are the programs, in a sense, that are the umbrella for all nurses who are going to be advanced practice nurses. And um, if you want to become a nurse practitioner, you'll go for this degree. If you want to become a nurse midwife, you'll go for that degree. But you're going to specialize in a certain specialty. So you'll go for that degree, and you would specialize in anesthesia. And they are accredited by the ANCC. And to do that, you would just go through a program and become that. Now, what's the biggest difference? The biggest difference that I could really find was that with the DNAP, if you want to teach because they're not accredited by the ANCC, that some universities, not all, consider the DNP to be a terminal degree, meaning that's the highest degree you can obtain in that specialty. And they don't view the DNAP like that. And the main reason is because the DNP is accredited by the ANCC. So because they don't view it as a terminal degree, you may not be eligible for tenure if, you, if your goal is to become a professor. 
teaching that. So if you can't get tenure, that means that your job may not be secure. You don't have the job security or it's a permanent position. So keep that in mind. So if your goal is to become a CRNA and later in life you want to go teach at the college level, I would definitely go with the DNP because some, but not all, but some universities don't view this DNAP as a terminal degree. So that is a little bit between the difference between the CRNA, the DNAP, and how things are changing. So thank you so much for watching this video and please subscribe to this YouTube channel.